A lot of people think that to improve your cardio fitness and to lose fat, you have to spend countless hours doing cardio, spending multiple hours per week on the treadmill, running, biking, jump roping until our legs feel like they're gonna fall off. But I'm here to tell you that none of this is required if you just wanna improve your physical fitness and lose fat. And in fact, if you don't wanna become a marathon runner, then you could do this in as little as six minutes per week. Before we talk about this awesome cardio tool that I came across, I wanna give a little bit of a background about myself. I am a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach, and I have owned my own studio in Pennsylvania for the last three years. I've been working on my own fitness journey for the last nine years, and I could say that I have been through every phase when it comes to working out. And I have been the person who does an hour to an hour and a half on the treadmill before I even start my lifting. And after multiple years of doing that, I could say I didn't really have a lot to show for it other than a lot of discipline. Discipline is awesome, but at the end of the day, I was really searching for results. I came across this six minute protocol when I was listening to the Huberman Lab podcast and he had on someone named Dr. Andy Galpin who is a leading exercise physiologist in the US and I guess throughout the world. In this particular episode they spoke about how you can improve your physical endurance and actually burn fat. Galpin explained that the issue that people run into when they're trying to improve their endurance and increase their work output is that their bodies are not yet efficient enough to get rid of the waste product that is building up when they're exercising. Essentially when too much acid starts to build up in your body or too much waste then your performance is going to take a hit and a lot of fatigue is going to to accumulate. At this point, you might be thinking, literally, who cares? But the benefit of increasing your endurance and adding in high intensity protocols like the one I'm going to describe today is that you'll improve your body's ability to perform at a higher heart rate, which if you're someone who cares about improving your lifts or your hypertrophy, then this matters for you. Being able to lift more weight and do more reps without accumulating a ton of fatigue will not only improve your fitness level, but that will actually help you increase your muscle size as well. Another benefit of high intensity protocols like this is that they will most likely not inhibit your muscle gains or your performance performance because of how short the duration is. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can do this on an Airdyne bike, but you could also do it while swimming, sprinting, or rowing, basically anything that is full body and has a minimal risk of injury. So doing this protocol with like complex barbell movements, kettlebell swings, or box jumps is definitely not preferred because when you start to get tired and your form starts to break down, the chance of injury definitely increases. So the first round that we're going to do is going to be up to two minutes. Preferably you are doing two minutes, but basis off of your physical fitness level where you're currently at and maybe even start with one if two seems way too impossible for you to go on the bike, row, or sprint for that long. Today I'm going to do two minutes, so I'm going to be using that as the general guideline for the rest of this video. During this first round, you're going to try to cover as much distance as you possibly can in two minutes. Once you hit that two minute mark, make sure that you write down the amount of distance that you covered because we're going to use it on this next round. Before we get on to the second round, I want you guys to take about a two minute rest and let yourself come down to full nasal breathing because on that first round, you probably gave it you're all, or at least you should have, and you're going to be breathing out of your mouth because you're so fatigued. So set a two minute timer on your watch or on your phone and make sure you come back down to nasal breathing and give yourself a little bit more time if you're just not quite there yet. During round two, you guys are going to take that exact amount of distance that you hit in round one. And now you're going to try to hit that same distance in as least amount of time as possible. My recommendation would be to try to stay within five to 10 seconds of your previous time in round one. Again, you're going to set your timer for two minutes. Give yourself a little extra time if you need to return down to that normal nasal breathing if you're really heavily pushing out of your mouth right now. For round three, we're gonna be referencing both round one and two because we're gonna take that same amount of time that we covered in round two, and now we're gonna try to get a further distance than we did in round one. Make sure that you guys record the time and distances you got for each round, put it in your phone, write it down, and then next time you try to perform this the following week, try to beat yourself. This is truly a sick mind game that you play with yourself, and that's why I love it because you become your biggest competition and all you could focus on is the thing that you're doing and yourself. Ideally, you're performing this protocol on an off day from lifting just so you could really give it your absolute best. But if you have to perform it on a lifting day, make sure to do it after your lifts so that it doesn't inhibit your lifts in any way. I said earlier that this protocol will not inhibit your lifts, but if you're already super fatigued in the beginning of your workout, your lifts will take a toll. What I really meant is that the next day when you go to do your lifts again, you shouldn't feel overly fatigued or sore from doing the six minute protocol. I really hope that you guys do not hate me too much for introducing this awesome exercise into your life and eventually one day come back and thank me for doing it. I would appreciate it if you guys could give this video a like as a zero cost way to show your support for me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in learning more about fitness, lifestyle, and diet from me. Have fun with this one and I'll catch you guys on the next one.